And we're here with the Around the World Sports Network crew where we got a rematch between the Beijing Bengals and the Carolina Armadillos. Man, the last game that these two teams played in the Around the World Bowl, uh, that prospect game was exciting. It was a lot of fun and it was down to the wire. And this one, man, it was so good. Both these teams decided to come back, rematch it up, and get it done. Actually, what's crazy is the backstory on this game is... Um, Man, these guys were just wanting to play. They were wanting to get out and compete. And with the draft coming up, uh, and these guys all being not on teams now, uh, man, they just wanted to play some football. And our, our janitor um, <laughs> here at AW uh, Essen Stadium, uh, little Jonathan, man, <laughs> he caught these guys playing football uh, on the field. And so we were able to, to bring out a bunch of fans all uh, for a free event. On uh, no, no ticket charge or nothing, uh, and got the teams back out and you know decided to, to run it back. And so we got the Bengals and the Armadillos here in the fourth prospect game now of the uh, for f fourth prospect game now for the season ten draft class, and we got the Johnny Bowl. It's going to be a lot of fun here. Can't wait for this uh, this one to kick off. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we appreciate everybody watching and everyone that decided to show out here so, such last minute. But it's going to be a good one, and we'll see you all down at the field when this one gets going. All right, we get to see the armadillos come out on the field first. Rodney Speed is back deep to... Uh, receive this one. We're going to see if he can take this to the house. Ooh, he gets about 20 yards on this one, and that's all he's going to get. Ooh, uh, they're going to say 19, but that's whack. We're going to give him 20 because it says 20. Um, so, uh, so what's going on here? Which one is a game? But we can see Big Jonathan come out now uh, with his offense. Ooh, and then on the very first play, Rodney Speed comes up with a 33-yard catch. And gets it done here for a first down, first play. And they're now at the 30-yard line. And pushing the red zone. Uh-oh. Ray Gareth comes up with an 8-yard run right there. MVP, or offensive MVP of the, the Around the World uh, Bowl. Going to see if he can do it again here. Uh oh, he's got nothing but green. Ooh, he got nothing but green grass ahead of him. But uh, Jerry's gonna tackle him from behind after he picks up eleven, though. Uh oh, run right up the gut with Philip Everest. Ooh, knocked off one tackle, picked up five. It's gonna be second of five now here uh, on the opening drive for the Armadillos, and they are moving the ball. Sit down on a big second and five. Uh, looked like Ray uh, Karras was going to have nothing but a first down and a touchdown. And then bang comes the Bengals. Oh, they're going to run a screw. Ooh. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Two yard loss right there on a big hit on Debo Samuels Jr. Fourth and two, and they're going to go for it. It's going to be tossed on the outside. Ooh! Big hits all over the field down here by the goal line. And the Bengals get it done and get a stop on downs. Uh-oh. Kool-Aid Jammer! Kool-Aid Jammer down the sidelines. Ooh! 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 He broke two of them. Got a 44-yard run on his first carry of the game. And, man, it was a scary start for this offense as they were inside the five-yard line. And Kool-Aid Jammer comes running down the sideline for a huge play. Oh, he breaks off one. Oh, man, Kool-Aid Jammer is looking dangerous on these outside runs right now. Kool-Aid Jammer, 12 yards on that one. And he is, man, <laughs> he is off to a great start here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Big hits right there. Keenan Jones Jr. comes up with a big stop. Under a minute left here in this first quarter. So far, it's 0-0. Zero zero. Let's see if 
Uh, Beijing. Oh, oh, deflection right there. Caleb Williams uh, tries to get it to his receiver. Keenan Jones Jr. comes up, uh, doesn't allow it, gets the uh, gets the deflection. And now it's going to be a third and ten for the Bengals. Uh oh! Wow, Kool Aid Jammer right up the gut picks up eleven too. Ooh, not sure. Uh, the armadillos saw that one coming. Ooh, Nathan Forrest brings him down for his first tackle of the game. Looks like we're going to get about one more play here. Um, <laughs> one more play here in this first uh, first quarter. Ooh, and it's going to be a deflection right there by nobody other than Kathon McGrave. A two-time defensive uh, MVP here in the Prospect Bowls. Uh, <laughs> could have been almost three. Had a great game last week. Uh, but his partner, D.D. Uh, Savage, was able to bring it home. Uh-oh, toss on the outside of Kool-Aid Jammer on third and eight. They're only going to get a yard right there as CT Blades comes up with a, a big hit. Uh, gets the uh, gets, uh, stop, and now it's going to be a fourth and seven. They're going to go for it. See if they're going to find a way to pick this up. Uh-oh, on the toss to the outside of Kool-Aid Kool Jammer. Tried to get it going there on the toss. Tried to, to juke to the outside. Wasn't able to make it happen. And CT Blades again. They run a screen to Debo Samuels Jr. And he gets a hit hard by Jerry right there. And the ball comes uh, free. They're going to say it's an incompletion. Um, he didn't have control of it. Won't be a fumble. So far, Debo Samuels is, uh, Jr. is off to a, a rough start. Ooh, and down goes Big Jonathan on a sack by the McBot. Nine-yard loss right there. It's going to be third and 19 here from the Armadillos. And this has been a pure defensive game here uh, to get this one started. And uh, been uh, tough showings. Ooh, and down goes Jonathan again. Ultra Magnus. Nine-yard tackle for a loss. Comes up with a huge sack on third and 19. It's going to make it fourth and 28. And it is not looking good here. Oh! When all hope was lost. Debo Samuel Jr. 43-yard gain on 4th and 28. What a play. Uh-oh, Jonathan finds his man, finds the tight end, Big Ed. Ooh, gain of 26. Ooh, he got options. And K-Dog. 10-yard touchdown grab for the... For the man. And the Armadillos are on the board first here late in the second quarter and they're gonna go for two and got plenty of options and ran into his own man right there and ultra magnus is able to come up with a tackle and keep him out of the end zone so it's six to zero the armadillos have the lead here and man Turn by Tyus Cook. The Armadillos have the lead 6-0 right now. It's a minute 37 left to go here in the second quarter. And the Bengals get ball to start the third. So you got to think they want to get points on the board here before the half. Um, as it's only a six-point game. Touchdown ties it up. Field goal or extra point takes the lead. Simple as that. Um, Caleb Williams now one for three, six yards. They're going to toss it on the outside to Kool-Aid Jammer. Kool-Aid Jammer's got blockers out ahead. Ooh, and he breaks off one tackle. But he's tackled from behind by Keenan Jones Jr. But he gets 35. He's over 100 yards uh, rushing now after just uh, eight short carries. But he got over 100 yards. They're going to give it to him again. Ooh, CT Blades comes up right there.
And it's a touchdown. St. Laurent Dior. Ooh, Kool-Aid Jammer with a two-point conversion. On the final play of the half. Ooh, it's going to be an incompletion right there. Uh, big Jonathan can't make it happen. John Johnson Rod comes up with a deflection. John Johnson Rod recently came out with a list of teams that he will uh, play for and it won't. And the teams that he will happens to be pretty short. But Big Jonathan, Kool-Aid Jammer are the, the impact players of the first half. Both of them um, off to, to great starts here through two quarters. And uh, are looking like it's going to be an exciting second half. But so far, it's been a good one here. As the Bengals got the lead 8-6 to six over the Armadillos. As uh, they're trying to get their revenge here from the last one uh, in the Around the World Bowl. Uh, they're trying to get it done here in the Johnny Bowl today. Uh, we'll see if they can uh, finish strong here in this second half. As they do start off with the ball uh, here in the third quarter. Ooh, what a return right there for Tice Cook. Picks up 22. Three thirteen, uh, three sixteen here. It's two, uh, second and six. Wow, messed up both of them. <laughs> but one yard run right there by Ku A Jammer. Third and five. Got options. Ooh, a catch in traffic for Saint Laurent Dior. In the end zone for a touchdown Bengals and they're gonna go for the two-point conversion here to try to make it a 10-point game Kool-Aid Jammer he's got the outside and he's got it his second one of the day Sixteen to six. Under two minutes left here in this third quarter. What can Big Jonathan do to help the armadillos try to find it? Ooh, can't get it done there. Ooh, the deep throw. Rodney Speed, twenty-eight. His second catch, and it's a second deep pass. Looking like a big deep threat here in the draft.
touchdown, Debo Samuels Jr. on his third catch. He takes it for a big catch and run, and he finds his way into the end zone. And the Armadillos are back here uh, with a touchdown. They're going to go for two, and they can't get it again. Second time here in uh, this game, then. They, they've gone for two and haven't been able to make it happen. What a spin move by Tyus Cook. What a return. What a move. What a run. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Tyus Cook, 55 yards on that one. Wow, Tyler Kelsey, first catch, and it's six yards, and they get closer to the goal line with that. All right, time for the fourth quarter as it's 16 to 12. The Bengals are trying to punch this in here as a second and goal, and they're only a few yards out. Ooh, can't do it there as the pass is dropped. Oh, ooh, that way he's going to have a tip drill. All right, 16 to 12 now. <laughs> 16 to 12. Armadillo's got a first down here. 242 left to go in the fourth quarter. They're down by four. They got a chance to make something happen. They got a chance to take the lead with a touchdown and see if they can do it. Okay, okay, K Dog. First down keeps the chains moving. A minute 30 left to go here. They're across midfield. They're at the 36. Ooh, John Johnson Rod comes up with the second deflection of the game. Thank you. 
Second and short, we're at a minute left to go. Ooh, this is getting juicy, it's down to the wire. They're at the 15. Can Big Jonathan lead his team to a late score? Ooh, and down goes Jonathan. The McBot comes up with his second sack of the day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a big third and ten. Ooh, and it's deflected. Fourth and ten, game on the line. Get it. They give it to Debo Samuels Jr. And once again, Jerry comes up with a huge stop on defense. Ooh, what a spin move by Kool Aid Jammer. Down the sideline he goes, and he is eventually tackled from behind. Kool-Aid Jammer with five seconds left, picks up a 48-yard run. It's going to be run right up the middle. And to cap off a wonderful, wonderful day already for Kool-Aid Jammer, he gets 196 yards now to finish it off. And an incredible performance here by the Beijing Bengals as they get their revenge and find a way to get it done this time. And they're walking out of here with a W here in the Johnny Bowl. Kool-Aid Jammer is going to be your offensive MVP and the MVP here of the game as he had 18 rushes, 196 yards, two uh, two-point conversions here. As the Beijing Bengals get it done here on a tight one that went down to the wire and came all the way down to a fourth down stop uh, by the Bengals defense as it's 16 to 12 uh, and they get it done. Caleb Williams was 7 for 11, 90 yards, 2 touchdowns. St. Laurent Dior was 3 for 31 and a touchdown. Kawan Brown was 3 for 53 and a touchdown. Uh, Tyler Kelsey had him a catch for 6 yards. Um, Kool-Aid Jammer, we know what he did, man. Offensive MVP. My daddy Sushi had a run but didn't get any yards on it. Uh, defensively, though, Ultra Magnus came up with a tackle for loss, a sack. Uh, had two tackles here in this one. Jerry had five tackles, a deflection, and a tackle for loss. John Johnson Rod had six tackles and two deflections. And then um, Big Jonathan, man, 13 for 19, 251 yards, two touchdowns. K Dog had three for 31 and a touchdown. Devo Samuels Jr. had five for 116 and a touchdown. Rodney Speed was two for 61. Uh, Big Ed was two for 34, and then Ray Carruth was one uh, reception for nine yards, eight rushes for 41 yards. Philip uh, Everest got him a run in there for five yards. Defensively, though, uh, Keenan Jones Jr. had six tackles, one for tackle for loss, a deflection. Uh, Big TJ had two tackles. Uh, Kathon McMurray had four tackles and a deflection. DJ Savage came up with two tackles. CT Blades had five tackles, two tackles for loss. Overall, this was a great game. It was a lot of fun, and we appreciate all y'all watching this one and tuning in, man. It was a, it was an excellent game, it was, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, the Bengals get it done, though, 16-12 to 12 here in the fourth prospect game of the season uh, or for the Season 10 draft class. We still got one more coming up this uh, before the draft. It's going to be the Spring Bowl presented by the Around the World Sports Network. It's going to be a lot of fun. We cannot wait uh, for that one. And we appreciate everybody watching this. We got Kool-Aid Jammer as our offensive MVP. And Big Jerry on the defense coming up as the defensive MVP here in this game. Uh, man, this is this is a great game. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, we appreciate all y'all watching.